Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. I'm going to do a how-to um, tutorial on making these little envelopes. I saw, I think it was Lolly Pelosa. If that is not correct, let me know. But I saw her make these envelopes using a template. Now, if you don't have an enveloper, and I think I have several of them, and some people have more a problem using the enveloper and I think for me um, for the smaller ones this size these fit perfectly in the my flip books or you know your mini albums and stuff like that so it's easier for me to just sit and make these yeah so what I did was I took a little piece of chipboard and I cut it three and a half by two and a half that's what size this is this is three and a half by two and a half and I took one at two by three this would be the size of these cards this one as you can see is two by three see the size here is two by three and this one is two and a half by three and a half the exact same whatever size you want your envelope to be this would be the size okay and I'm sure you all have seen this before sometimes if you watch a video it's easier for you to uh, sometimes you can't just watch one particular person's um, video and make what you see so sometimes you actually have to watch several videos until you find the one that you can comprehend or you really understand so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the three and a half by two and a half size envelope this is the larger of the two and I'm actually going to use let's see I'm going to use this paper and it is printed it says cardstock but really it's printed paper okay and I'll use I'll use this print because it is a print and I find for me prints seem to work better than the lines like this because you have to line up those uh, lines and if the lines don't come out exactly right then your card looks crooked okay so to make a two and a half by three and a half size envelope you're going to use you're going to cut you're going to use a five by five and I'm talking five inches by five inches sheet of paper and I'm going to just cut it, okay? I'm going to cut this at 5 inches. And I'm, I'm lining it up at the 5-inch side over here. There is no need to measure again because this is measuring. And sometimes people don't know how to use their tools. But if you measure this at 5 inches, you're on the ruler, okay? And you just cut. That's all you're doing. You're looking over here to see that this is set up at 5 inches and you're cutting okay then you do the same thing you make sure it's lined up on the ruler at five inches because you want this to be five inch squared that means five inches on each side okay and you just cut it okay um, let's do that again five inches we're going to line it up exactly at five inches and we're going to cut these you can actually use these to do little cutouts or to make um, other envelopes. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. And I hope I explained this correctly. I'm going to take this and turn it over on this side. And from corner to corner on this paper, I am going to make a line from one corner to the other okay 
I'm going to score a line. And then from, I'm going to measure this from one corner. I'm going to put the ruler there from one corner to the other. You see there, it's totally lined up, right? And I'm going to put a line starting at the line that I drew the first time. I'm going to put a line from there to the end of that corner, okay? And it should look like this. All right. Now I'm going to take this template that I made. And what I did was I cut the template at three and a half by two and a half. And then I drew a line straight down the middle, which is one and three quarters. And then I drew it the long way straight down the middle, which is one and a one and a quarter. Okay? So when I once I did that, I took this piece of paper and I took this template and I lined it up on the lines. You see that? lined up on the lines. The lines have to be lined up top and bottom. Okay, here's the top and here's the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in one way. Make sure the lines are lined up. I'm going to fold it in the other way. I'm going to do it on all four corners, making sure it stays lined up. I'm going to fold it on the top and I'm going to fold it on the bottom. Okay, now I have it folded all the way around, right? I'm going to remove the template and I'm going to make sure my creases or my folds are creased well, okay? Like I said, I like using the printed paper because then it doesn't look crooked. I did use some and this is what you end up with and it has all the folds in there. Midway from each of the corners, you have these little indentations here. You're going to cut those out. And you're going to cut them slightly larger. I mean, slightly away from the corners. And I'll show you why in a minute. You're just going to cut these slightly away from the corners. Okay. I hope you can see what I'm doing and I hope you all understand um, because I was showing someone how to do this and theirs kept looking differently from mine and they were saying that I was giving them wrong instructions but I'm giving them the same instruction I gave you it's just these are just easier for me to make this way especially if I'm just sitting here this is what you would end up with okay your line and everything is on the inside. And you're just doing a light line because if you do sheer paper, acetate, or vellum, you really don't want that line to show through. I did one with vellum. Let me show you. And the line actually shows through. So I wouldn't even use that because, yeah, this is just a sample. But the line does show through, as you can see. And you don't want that. So... Yeah, you end up with something like this, okay? This will be the bottom. So what you'll want to do is you would want to, that little tip right there, you would want to cut it off straight across, okay? Well, that's not really straight, is it? But let me cut it straight across. All right, and you end up with something that looks like this. Okay, now this is the top part of your envelope, but you want to put it in a, I'm using this little hand punch uh, paper corner, and this is what you end up with. Yeah, so what you'll do is the piece that you cut the top off right here, you'll want to either, I'm using this score tape, and it's a quarter, I mean one eighth inch, yeah, because it's thin. Um, you have it's different kinds of adhesive is adhesive whichever type you decide to use you can use wet glue but then you chance it sticking together or sticking the paper to the paper so you don't want that because you want to put stuff in it so I remove that and there is your envelope and this envelope is exactly 
a two and a half by three and a half inch envelope. So if you're looking to not have to purchase these all the time, this is a great way to just make your own. And now I'm going to just go ahead and do the same for the two by three size one. And I'll cut it first using this. So I'm going to do the same thing. I want, and I'm using two, uh, eight and a half by 11 inch paper. So for the two by three, you're able to get four little envelopes here. And because the size of the paper will be smaller, this is four by four and a quarter. Okay. That's the size paper because this is eight and a half. I could actually just go ahead and cut the four inches off of here which is what I'm going to do right now I cut four inches and then each of these pieces are going to be four and a quarter I'm going to cut them four and a quarter as you can see I'm just cutting it four and a quarter and then I'm going to make sure this piece is also four and a quarter which is one of the lines ticks from the four okay so both of these pieces are four and a quarter four by four and a quarter okay i'm going to do the same thing again i said i wasn't going to talk but that's kind of hard for me to do right not talk <laughs> all right so i'm going to line it up from corner to corner and i'm going to put a fine line there Okay, you can't even see that line, but I can. So let me mark it again so that you can see it. And this is going to be your smaller envelope. And I'm going to do it corner from corner to corner. And then I'm going to do it from the midway point to the corner, to the edge of that corner. All right, you have your pattern. I'm going to do both of these at the same time. Okay, or yeah, one behind the other. So, yeah, I hope everyone could understand this video. I just, I, I don't, if there's a tutorial out there that I think is easily understood, I don't try to do another tutorial just because, but because I was trying to show someone how to do this and I referred them to the video, they said they watched it, but I don't know. Um... They just didn't understand it. Here is that piece. I'm going to take this 2 by 3 card and I'm going to line it up with the lines on here. Make sure the lines match. If I pick this up, you can see the lines match the paper. Each of the corners right there match. So I'm going to fold it here. And I'm going to fold it on the other side. Okay, then I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it upward. Or I'm going to fold the, that top part. Then I'm going to fold the other side. Whatever you do to one side, do it to the other. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to crease it. Make sure the fold, the creases are really fold, folded. And then I'm going to cut the little corners. I'm going to cut the little notches out that is on just the notches. That's as far as I'm going to cut. Just those little notches out where the lines, where you see the folded lines, that's the little notches that you're going to cut out, okay? Only cut those little notches out. Okay? And you end up with this. Alright. So far if yours look like this. You've done it correctly. Okay. On the bottom part where you have that line. I'm just merely going to clip it off evenly. Yeah. Okay. Like that. And then the top piece I'm going to. And if you have a, a corner puncher. I'm using this portable one for right now. Yes, that's what your corner is going to look like. Because I'm showing someone how to do this. And I have to use the tools that they are using. Um, 
I think a envelope would confuse them. So I'm using this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the piece that I cut that little piece off, I'm going to put a piece of tape there and a piece of tape there. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And there's your envelope. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this piece off. And I'm using score tape, some kind. I don't know. I think it is exact. And there's your envelope. And you can make these cute little envelopes. Um, they're simple, easy to make. There's lots of tutorials out there. If you don't understand mine, you can check and watch for others but that's the best I can do for a tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and do this one again this is my two by three size one just to make sure they're super simple and easy to make and I think um, Lola Palusa for her video because I actually purchase the small as envelopes when I see them. I think they're so cute. I like anything little. So, but I do have, um, you know, you can make the templates as small as you want. Yes. So, if you want a little one inch by one and a half inch envelope, just make the template that size. Yes. And you can make them as small or as... Um, large as you want you don't have to use the envelope to do it so I'm cutting I'm cutting the little corners out and I cut these at a slant right here so that it closes properly just a little slant I'm cutting out the little corners on the paper and it's at the halfway point it's not the actual corner of the paper not here I'm cutting in between there so I have that and now what I want to do is always remember to cut this little piece off as low as you want it I guess yeah and then corner around the top piece and you'll have to figure out your own process. I've done, I do them so much till I just know exactly how to do it. And then I'm going to put a piece of score tape here. And I'm going to put a piece of score tape here. And make sure you don't put it on the top of it because it will close up your envelope, okay? and you won't be able to put anything in it unless of course that's what you want to do but if you're making these envelopes you probably don't and there you are there's your envelope and yes let me edge that just a bit so that it closes without it being seen on the other side so there you are there's my envelopes and these could make cute little gift packages you could take them and make little note cards for them using this size. You just put it on the edge, double the paper. Do something like this. Yes. Easily. Oops. Cut this off. Or you can use your, I'm just showing you how easy it is. You can use your, I'm going to do it just a little less than what it is but make sure it's on the on the um yeah just cut a little smudge off and then you could easily fit your little card in your pocket and there you are Yes, so you can actually make a set of these as gifts to give away that was just I just wanted to show you what you could do with this so Yes, let me know if you understood that tutorial. And, um, yeah, show me what you did. All right, I hope everyone have a great Memorial Day weekend and a safe Memorial Day weekend. I have festivities or activities to, um, to go to today. So, 
I will be crafting once I get back. So, yes, if um, by chance you do this, which is super easy, it wasn't my idea. I saw either it was Lolly Palooza or Felix Loves Paper, one of those, and she has a few other projects that I want to do too. Yeah, um, I use their videos um, to make these envelopes. So, yeah, and I prefer doing it this way because, um, yes, you don't have to worry about using your envelope or sometimes tools don't help you like you want them to so yes i'm actually sitting i, I said and made a bunch of them but i'm going to sit and make lots more because i like using them and i want to get a stash of them all right let me know if that helped anyone and i'll talk to you later if not i'll put the links to their videos in the description box and you could click on theirs and maybe if you don't understand mine, you'll be able to watch theirs and understand it a lot clearer. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.